Hi guys, this is Tavia Sobi, and today, today I'm going to show you an easy way to get silvery sludge. But before we get further, first off, I'd just like to say thank you to my niece, whose game file I'm using right now. I'm actually vacationing to visit her, so I don't have my PS4 with me. So we're using her game file instead. So originally I was just sort of helping her out find some of this stuff, and I figured, you know what? If she needs help for it, then maybe some other people would find it useful if I made a guide for it. So yeah, this silvery sludge. Now for those of you who are wondering, why would you want to have silvery sludge? Well, the reason is simple. It's actually a material for a lot of endgame gear. So that includes post-game weapons and armor, such as Erdrick's sword, for example, which I've made a guide for here. Yeah, so silvery sludge is actually a pretty useful material if you want to make some of the more powerful gear in the game. The only problem is it can be a bit of a pain to find. At least with Orichalcum, you can always go to the Unholy Home and find it there. Whereas for the Silvery Sludge, it involves hunting a pretty rare monster, the Liquid Metal Slime. Now, there are usually a couple of places where you can find it. One, of course, is Moonbrook, and then the other is one of the Explorer Shores. I believe Laguna Perfuma. The only problem is uh, with the Laguna Perfuma method is that you have to search the whole island, which can be easier said than done, depending on how RNG decides to spawn your island, as well as your location. That leaves the other option as Moonbrook, which is actually the easier alternative out of the two. And I'll show you why. Yeah, so if you've gotten through the storyline in Moonbrook, you'll remember that there's a particular cave that you have to get to in order to progress the story. And the entrance to this cave will have this regular slime standing there that you can talk to. That's how you know you're in the right spot. Now, if you go inside this cave right at the entrance, you should run into a liquid metal slime. And we've tested this a few times. There were times when it wouldn't show up, but more often than not, it'll show up right there in the entrance as you get in, or maybe as you bend the corner headed right. Yeah, and so all you need to do is make sure if you have the poison needle to equip that, because that is really good at killing slimes. Just whack the monster a few times. It'll try to run away from you, but eventually you're going to be able to take it out and it'll drop silvery sludge, sometimes two silvery sludge pieces. And so all you need to do is rinse and repeat this method until you have enough. Now granted, it can be a bit of a pain to get this particular cave because there are no warp points really close to it. So what you need to do is to make sure that you have a buggy that can take you there more easily and then leave that buggy there because then it can serve as a warp point. So you can just easily warp to it every time you revisit the island. Now interestingly enough, my niece had a question about this because obviously she already has a buggy in the Isle of Awakening and she can't bring that buggy with her every time she goes out to another island. And the funny part is she says, like, you know, she'll try to bring it with her by taking it on the ship. And then it'll pretty much just get left behind. <laughs> so what you need to do is actually you need to make sure you just have the materials to make it, as well as the blueprint for it. Make sure you take out the blueprint so you have it equipped in your bag and then go to Moonbrook after that. So just pick a spot where you have a nice flat piece of land, lay down your blueprint, and then just craft your buggy. And then once you craft it, it'll automatically turn into the hovering buggy. And so just ride it and then take it all the way to this part of the map right here. Yeah, so just land it by the cave entrance, park it and leave it there, and then you can use it as a warp point. That way you can leave the island, come back, and then the metal slime will respawn again. And voila! Easy silver sludge. Yeah, so this is great, because silvery sludge can be a bit of a pain to find. It's worth it though, so hopefully this guide ends up being helpful for you. Yeah, so that's one of the easier ways to find silvery sludge. As always, if you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Once again, this is Tabi Asobi, and thank you for watching.